My name is Steven Morales. I'm 45. I never looked at myself like an inspiration. I feel like I'm still on my journey. I've lived in uh, Philadelphia all my life. We kind of moved around a lot, like different families, houses. I have a little brother and a sister. They're twins. When my mom had them, I kind of had to grow up fast because she was working, going to school, but you know, she was like a single parent. I was like changing diapers and feeding babies when I was little. When I got older, I kind of like started like rebelling. And like my mom was like getting real mad at me. You know, we kind of was like button heads. Yeah, I think def definitely like my dad not being around, that definitely played a part in a lot of my bad decisions. I think I just was like looking for like that cosign like from other guys. But by that time, my grades had slipped and you know, it just kind of like unraveled and fell apart. Stephen graduated from high school, but after only a couple of semesters in college, he dropped out. Disinterested in higher education and without real direction, Stephen found himself at a crossroad. Because I was kind of like hanging around with no direction. I started needing money, and then uh, one of my friends, he had sold drugs down the street, Six and Pike, that was like right down the street. And it was like a notorious drug corner. I'm talking like, major like majorly organized and it's like non-stop drugs being sold like constantly around the clock so i had asked them you know like yo you should let me work on the corner so i can make some money because like i'm broke whatever you're selling bundles of coke bundles of crack i was making like six hundred dollars a day doing that so i mean you know it's just it gets addictive you know, it was like a feeling like you belong to something like, I know it's the wrong thing, but at the time, that's where my mind was. The money is just too easy. It's too easy. But eventually, you know, shit hit the fan and it caught up to me. After multiple arrests, Stephen's luck had finally run out. He was sentenced to hard time at Greaterford Prison. He came home and stayed out of trouble for almost 10 years until he was picked up with a friend who was selling drugs. In jail, it's, like, it's, it's hard to like get your mind right because you're around all this negative stuff. So I'm in there, I'm like a month into it, and this guy, and he's like, can I have everybody's attention? He said, if you want to sign up for the dog program. And I was like, what the hell is a dog program? <laughs> that dog program, New Leash on Life, Run in partnership with Jeff's Human Services, teaches inmates to care for and socialize at-risk shelter dogs to enhance their adoptability. While inmates attend life skills and job readiness workshops with the opportunity for paid internships in animal care upon parole. My dog's name was Pavlov. Hard as hell to train, but he was, he was a sweetheart. He loved me, I loved him too. I learned a lot from him. We rescued dogs and the dogs rescued us. <laughs> I know I got rescued. <laughs> I, I'm not afraid to say it. With the help of Jeff's post-release services, he was placed in an internship at the Animal Care and Control Team of Philadelphia and has quickly climbed the ranks to Animal Control Officer. In every way, it led me to something. I didn't expect to get a job. I didn't expect to be an Animal Control Officer right now. You know, and, and I love doing it. It's just not, none of this would have happened without Jeff's because the support that they gave me was the support that I needed to be able to even take the baby steps that I needed to take the regular steps that I needed to take like the big step. It was really important because when you're fresh out of jail, you really don't, you don't have anything. Like I'm not getting any younger. It's like it might have took me a little bit to get focused, but like I'm focused now.